Hello friends and welcome. Today we will be looking at 15 must have NuGet packages for the RN forms and what it takes to implement them. Endeavor to watch till the end for a bonus mention. Without wasting time, let's get started. Number 1. Pop up. A lot of times when developing your applications, you are required to create a kind of pop up as a message box or confirmation dialog. The best plugin I have seen and used over time is the halg.plugins.popup. This plugin is a cross platform plugin that allows you to open pages as pop up in your Android, iOS, and UWP projects. Before you can use this plugin, you have to do some initializations in each platform you are targeting. These initializations must come before the initialization of the marine forms. To see how to implement this plugin, click on the link in the card above or check the description of this video. Number 2. Essentials. There are basic and essential implementations that are required for your applications to work seamlessly, such as checking for connectivity, getting device information, geolocation, and lots more. The folks at Microsoft have made all this possible in a single plugin called the Marine Essentials. You get this plugin by default every time you create a new project. It is very easy to use. For example, see how easy it is to get your location from the device with few lines of code. The only extra step is to set the permission required for the features you are implementing. If you would like to see how to implement your location and use it with a map, check the link in the card above or check the description of this video. Number 3. Model View View Model, also known as MVVM. The MVVM pattern helps you to cleanly separate the business and presentation logic of your application from its user interface. Maintaining a clean separation between application logic and the UI helps to address numerous development issues and sometimes Implementing this pattern can prove difficult and mundane for both new and experienced developers. MVVM Helpers is a plugin that makes the implementation of MVVM pattern easy and less time consuming so that you can focus more on the business logic. Examples of the helpers I use in my application are the set property and get property helpers which takes away the stress of implementing the high notify property change. To see how to implement this MVVM helper, check the link in the description below. Number 4. Image Loading FF Image Loading is a cross-platform image library for loading images quickly and easily. It supports image file formats such as GIF, SVG, and WebP. One interesting feature of this plugin is caching. If you have multiple image controls that are using the same image source within your application, the plugin will load the source image once and use the cached version for the rest, thereby reducing data consumption of the app. You can perform some fading animations with your images and also apply transformations such as crop, blur, grayscale, round corner, flip, and rotation. Number 5. Monetization Oftentimes, you need to integrate monetization into your mobile apps in order to generate revenue. This is usually by introducing in-app purchases in form of remove ads feature, buying in-game currency, or upgrading to the pro version of the app. 
the in-app billing plugin supports three types of in-app purchases consumables non-consumables and subscriptions consumables can be described as any one-time service within the app for example in-game currency or extra health non-consumables are items that can only be purchased once such as removing of ads downloading books game level or additional game functionality subscriptions are also renewable payments which can be set monthly or yearly and non-renewable subscriptions that expires after a set amount of time number six crash report app center contains a lot of features to help you with your mobile app development the two major features of app center that i have used over the years are the app center crashes and app center analytics app center crashes will automatically generate a crash log every time your app crashes collecting crashes work for both apps in beta and live apps to implement crash reporting and analytics in your application you need an app secret which can be generated by registering on the app center website note that if you are targeting more than one platform you will need to create the application for each platform to get the app secret on app center website in order to use app center plugin you have to install the plugin into your projects and then proceed to your app.xaml.cs file to initialize the plugin by supplying the app secret for each platform after that you can start tracking errors within your code number seven caching monkey cache provides easy ways to cache any data structure for a specific amount of time for example you are making a web request and get some response back from the server you want the ability to cache this data in case you go offline but also you need it to expire after a certain number of minutes or hours monkey cache provides you with these capabilities to set up monkey cache first select an implementation of monkey cache that you would like to use such as lightdb sqlite or filestore each of these implementation determines where your files will be cached either using the lightdb the sqlite or using the filestore once you have selected the implementation that you would like to use then you will install the specific nugget for this implementation which will also install the base monkey cache library after this you will be required to set a custom application id for your application so that the cache engine can uniquely identify your application on the user, user's device number eight audio and video media content is a feature of content and there is a need to put this into consideration when developing mobile application media plugin is a cross-platform Xamarin plugin that simplifies access to the device native media functions and makes it easy for your user to interact with audio and video in your mobile applications the features include native playback of media files from both local and remote sources notifications media controls and playback status it also allows you to add multiple media items for sequential playback this plugin requires initialization in each of the platform you are targeting number nine animation loti is a cross-platform library which allows you to run animation within your application these animations are defined within a JSON file containing all the details of colors, shapes, and transforms. You need Adobe After Effects in order to create 
these JSON files. However, there are lots of free Lotti animation out there that are shared by designers. To get started, first, you need to install the NuGet package into your project and then initialize it in your respective projects. For you to show animations within your application, you need to put the Adobe After Effects JSON file in your asset folder for Android or resources folder for iOS and then load the JSON file into your Lutzi animation view. Number 10. Gradient and curved layout. Modern hub designs usually contain views with gradients, borders, rounded corners and shadows. Developers implementing these designs in Xamarin forms require layouts that support these specifications. Pancake View Plugin is a plugin that supports gradients, borders, rounded corners and shadows. Implementing Pancake View is very simple and straightforward. First, install the plugin in your projects and then tell your XAML page where it can find the Pancake View by adding the namespace to your XAML code. You can now call the Pancake View control and add properties that suit the design you are working with. Number 11. Content Animation Animation has a way of spicing the user experience of your mobile application. Micro interactions, transitions, and in-app animations are usually used to explain the logic of an app to a user and improve the overall app usability. Shared Transition Plugin allows you to implement shared element transition by connecting common elements together from one page to another. A shared element transition determines how elements that are present in two pages transition between those two pages. Number 12. File Picker Your application may require the use of file from user's device for viewing, editing, and other file operation. File Picker plugin is a simple cross-platform plugin that allows you to pick files from user's device and work with them within your application. You can select any file type or set the allowed type in order to limit the types of file that can be selected. Number 13. Fingerprint Authentication Fingerprint authentication provides application with an alternative way to the conventional username and password method used for user authentication and makes it possible for your application to implement security that is less intrusive. A fingerprint must already be enrolled with the device for the user to be authenticated successfully. Xamarin Fingerprint Plugin is a cross-platform plugin that allows you to authenticate users with the enrolled fingerprint on their devices. To start using this plugin, you must initialize and request the necessary permission in all the platforms you are targeting. Number 14. Charts Charts in mobile applications is a great way to present a clear overview of numerical data and show the relationship between such data. Microcharts is a selection of common charts that are easy to use, visually pleasing, and provides ready-to-use charts in your Xamarin Forms application. There is a wide range of charts included in Microcharts plugin for you to choose from, such as bar charts, pie charts, line charts, point charts, and others. You can select the chart that best fits your data within your application. Now, before we continue, here is a bonus mention for you. Mathematics. Has there ever been a need to display mathematical formula in your application but cannot find any tool to help you? C Sharp Math is what you are looking for. This is a library that allows you to display mathematical expressions within your mobile application. It makes use of the latex engine to convert plain text into high-quality mathematical expression 
or display on your mobile app screen. It works perfectly in both XAML and C Sharp code. And now to the last item on the list. Number 15. Graphics. Many applications require special controls that are not part of the native kit. And to achieve this, there is a need to render 2D graphics directly and natively on the hub. Skiasharp is a cross-platform library that allows direct draw on the UI canvas and makes it possible to create complete custom controls. It is a 2D graphics library that provides a rich API to basically draw fancy things on the UI canvas. Now before you go, I have two questions for the day. Number one, what other NuGet packages do you use that are not mentioned in the list above? Number two, which of these NuGet packages would you like me to implement in a feature below? Kindly drop your answer in the comments below. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you find it useful. Please like this video and share with friends. If you are yet to subscribe, consider subscribing by clicking the subscribe button below. Thank you very much and I will see you next time.